if you wish to stay absolutely anonymous on the web then you must know what exactly is a burner account and how to actually use it keep watching Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kaushal and you're watching TechBook. So today we are going to talk about what is a burner account, how to use it and how will it benefit you. So firstly, let's talk about what is it. Basically, if you want to stay absolutely anonymous on the web, you might need a burner account. Burner account is basically just an account which has no identity. It's like a fake identity you're creating for yourself. So in order to create burner accounts, firstly, you will be needing a burner mobile number as in a number which is not related to any person. It's a disposable number. There are a lot of websites which will sell you these numbers. Here are names of some of them on your screen. You can go over there, purchase them. And there are also a lot of websites which give you those numbers for free. But majorly they are just spammed everywhere. So they might or might not work. That's why go for the paid options. SMS man is definitely one of them, but there are other ones as I mentioned before. So this is what you start with. After that, you can also consider getting burner email IDs. So burner email IDs are also purchasable or you can just use the free ones. Here are some websites where you can get it for absolutely free. They will give you disposable mails. You will just directly use this email ID to sign up on any accounts and do whatever you want and then you can just stop using it and the email IDs will just cease to exist. So for signing up on websites which you do not like or which might seem a little bit shady to you, you can use these email IDs. But what if you want to create a fake online persona like an absolutely single person. So for that you would need a similar email ID for all of them, a similar phone number for all of them. So in that case you will just have to go for the paid option. Although one thing which I should absolutely tell you is that even after using all of these you still might get tracked because your ISP will have your data that is not going to go away. Also though nowadays because there are so many people who are using the internet so isps have a lot of data of a lot of users and each user might have three to four devices so tracking each and every one of them might not be so feasible for them so you are a bit secure over there but still they might if someone tries to dig down other couple of safe options that you can try to more anonymize yourself is firstly using a nice vpn use proxies on top of the vpn on your system and use maybe an anonymous browser like the tor browser so these were just a few quick tips to be anonymous on the internet and know what is a burner account and how to use it if you want to know more about it check out the link in the description our article explains everything in detail you can check it out over there and just start using it now smash that dislike button if you did not like this video and in case if you actually liked it you know what to do so thank you guys for watching my name is kaushal peace out Bad.